creeper of mine tell me where have you been good morning afternoon or evening whenever you guys are tuning in and creeping with i do appreciate it we are here in the heart of downtown portland and right behind me is this incredible mural representing pretty much all of portland's music scene but today more specifically are focusing on these guys right right here art alexander and everclear portland oregon band a lot of cool things they've done for the city including filming a music video art actually owned a home here in portland as well at one point but today we are doing a full video of one of my favorite bands none other than everclear not to mention all these other incredibly talented artists surrounding them So stay tuned, we're doing a little Everclear, Everclear creeping. I'm excited for this one. Been wanting to do this one for a while. Slowly making our way up into the West Hills. Beautiful shot of downtown. I'm winded, but that actually might give you a clue as to the next stop. Woo, I am winded way up in the West Hills. That's right, we are here on Southwest Spring and 17th. And the reason why we're here is because at one point, well, he still might actually, but this is Art's house from Everclear, that's right. If you guys remember the song, I will buy you a new house way up in the West Hills. He wasn't joking. He actually uh, purchased this property not too long ago. And I think he might actually still reside here. I could be wrong. But Everclear is touring at the moment, which I thought was incredibly awesome to see them kind of back doing their awesomeness. A lot of great bands from Portland. But yeah, Art's house right here in the West Hills. So not only writing about it, but actually making it happen. Yeah, pretty dang cool. All right, our next stop's gonna be Burnside Skate Park, which was the filming location to Heroin Girl off of one of their albums. So we're gonna cruise way back down into Burnside, right off of Burnside to Burnside Skate Park. But yeah, the home to art from Everclear kind of tempted to go knock on the door but I also want to just give their privacy of course beautiful home way up in the West Hills pretty dang cool to think that he actually you know did what he said he was going to right here in the West Hills of Portland pretty dang cool yeah way up in the West Hills it took a minute to get up here this one's got the adjacent garage too maybe they practice some music in there at some point pretty dang cool and also i noticed in this window up top here is that intricate kind of old-timey glass that's real thick i'm wondering if that was placed there so that he could record and not have any sound. I know that glass is a little thicker. I could just be thinking that in my own head, but who knows? In fact, one of their albums, I can't remember offhand, but the title, or the cover rather, I believe is shot in one of these bedrooms. I'll insert it and you guys can give your best opinion. But yeah, Art's house, way up in the West Hills. Yeah, he wasn't lying. We are way up in the West Hills. Beautiful day though. Yeah, it's cool seeing his house. Seen them plenty of times in concert. Love to see him again. It's been years. Saw him at the, was it Snow, Snow Scapade, which was kind of like a, a winter punk rock fest. Then I saw him once uh, oh, at La Luna, 
And I also went out and saw him way out at the, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember the venue. 94.7 NRK, the big stink. And they were the main, the main band back in 1994. Shampooey State Park, that was it. I knew if I stood here for a minute, I'd, my brain would fire back. <laughs> a lot of good times though, what a great band. Portland, Oregon sign, ooh, my brakes are still a little squeaky. Portland, Oregon sign looking beautiful as well. Yeah, a lot of good bands out of Portland, we're lucky. And just the Pacific Northwest in general, Nirvana. You know, Everclear, so on and so forth. A lot of good music out of here. Yeah, a little overcast. Biking up the Burnside Bridge now, which is gonna be replaced very, very soon. It is very, very old and dilapidated, but Burnside Skate Park sits right on the east end down below we got the big portland oregon sign here this morning as well but yeah everclear shot a few music videos here in portland but we're gonna creep up to burnside skate park and reminisce about the heroin girl video pretty wild pretty wild song Alright, just got here to Burnside Skate Park, which was the location to that video. And I was able to pull up some old shots from that music video, which you can see most of this whole wall back in here makes the shot and art and everybody was kind of like in the bowl. So we're going to go pull up now and get a couple more shots of that video. Old Burnside though, rocking hard all these years. So he's got murals on here too. So yeah, in the video, Art and all of them are basically just kind of chilling right here. And if you look back as of today, there's always graffiti and murals and stuff on here, but you would have seen these lips right here on the back of Burnside as well. And apparently the music video was shot just within a day, kind of guerrilla style. They actually put an ad in the paper and a bunch of kids from the schools and whatnot showed up for the music video. So it was pretty well just kind of, I don't know, on the whim, I guess you would call it. And a bunch of folks showed up and they shot the video right here. Art and them was being right here. You would have seen like the pullback of the cameras and stuff make the shot, but all these lips and all this make the video and all these ramps and everything. A little bit has changed. I believe it was in 96 is when they shot the video. I'll have to go back and actually look, but yeah, Burnside Skate Park. Oh, that was dope. Started in 1990. These guys are tearing it up, man. That was cool. Yeah, started in 1990. A lot of movies, a lot of videos. A lot of things have been filmed here over the years. Free Willy was filmed here. A whole bunch of things. So they've really utilized this. Not just for, you know, an iconic Portland location. But that video that day, pretty dang cool. Yeah, you would have seen the bowl and everything. This girl's tearing it up, man. This camera and all of them would have been basically right around here. I actually found the article of that day that Everclear sent out, just kind of inviting people to the music video. And it was pretty wild. I remember, I mean, the song itself is pretty wild. Heroin Girl. <laughs> I don't know if that, I don't know. I don't want to say too much, but Portland definitely has its fair share of kind of that going on. So it's about a song about a girlfriend of his that he loves was like you know in his teens and really affected him in all of his songwriting and stuff and you can really hear it in the lyrics I mean it's from the heart so it's not just you know drug induced lyrics this is actually from the bottom of his heart losing one of his friends which a lot of folks can probably relate to so it's definitely a touchy touchy subject but that all happened right here in the early 90s we're inside skate park still holding it down all these years strong I just noticed up on that old mural too, there's actually an Everclear. 
kind of an old mural. If you look closely there, I think that mural's come back over the years. Yeah, that's ironic. going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll dial you into being a creeper today. You can also ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, creeper out for now. Peace.